First, let's look at a simplified representation of a step motor. Note that the coil, or electromagnet, is located in the stator. Passing current through the stator coils creates a magnetic field which generates a torque on the rotor. The rotor turns until its magnetic poles are aligned with the poles produced by the stator coils. Once this happens, there is no more torque and the rotor stops. By reversing the current in the coils, we reverse the direction of the magnetic field. This will cause the rotor to flip to the opposite direction and stay there. However, we don't know which way the rotor will flip when we reverse the current. We can solve this problem by adding a second set of stator windings, offset by 90 degrees. By switching current from one set of windings to the other, the magnetic field from the coil swings through 90 degrees instead of 180 degrees. This determines which way the rotor will move. Our simple step motor now has four positions in one revolution. This type of current control is referred to as full stepping. By sending current through both sets of coils at the same time, we can also move the rotor to four intermediate positions, giving us a total of eight steps per revolution. This is referred to as half stepping. Of course, this motor model, with such a large step angle, would be of little practical value. We really need to make the step angle much smaller. We can do this by increasing the number of magnetic poles on the rotor and the stator. Rather than use a large number of individual magnets, the hybrid step motor uses a single axial magnet with two pole pieces. An actual step motor rotor has 50 teeth. The stator poles also have a large number of teeth, creating a motor design that produces 200 steps per revolution. This large pole count results in a motor which is very stiff at standstill and has exceptional torque performance in relation to the electrical power input. The microstepping system solves the resonance and resolution problems of the standard step motor while keeping its inherent advantages. Rather than switching all the current from one phase to the next, the microstepping drive proportions it incrementally, creating additional positions within each full step. In this example, each full step is divided into 125 discrete positions. This electrically converts a standard 200 step motor into a 25,000 step per revolution positioning device. Today's technology makes resolutions up to 100,000 steps per revolution achievable. Microstep drives provide controlled motion that is effectively continuous, even at very low speeds. They move loads smoothly through velocities that would otherwise involve resonance problems. Their precision is outstanding, and due to their typical 500,000 to 1 dynamic range, they can direct drive many loads that would ordinarily require gears, belts, or pulleys. To demonstrate the accuracy and repeatability of a microstepping motor drive system, a mirror attached to a motor shaft projects a laser dot 50 feet onto a sheet of paper. The unloaded motor driver is accurate to within five arc minutes, even when reversing direction. Unidirectional repeatability is five arc seconds. This is what a full 1.8 degree step would look like at 50 feet. These are micro steps, 
25,000 per revolution.